Hey, it's Kittlebyte here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check and adjust your timing on an old classic, in my case, a 79 uh, F-150 with 460 big block. But I'm going to show you how you can test your timing and adjust it if needed. If you've got a vacuum advance, you're going to want to unplug that from your carburetor and block off the port that is connected to and generally it should go to a if it's a stock vehicle it should go to a ported vacuum source on your carburetor by the way if it is not stock well that's a whole other <laughs> that's a whole other thing so you're gonna this is a timing light it is not like a space ray gun it's a timing light and there's different ones I'm not gonna get into too much on it they will have clamps, clips, that'll go on your battery, red onto the positive, black on the negative, and you will have an end that looks like this. That'll go on the number one spark plug, which in the case of this Ford is here. So on a Ford, this is number one. On like a Chevy, this is number one. You want to look up which is the number one cylinder for your engine. With the vehicle running and fully warmed up so that it's at its actual idle, you got to find where the timing mark is for your engine. So on like the 460, it's over on the passenger side near where the number one cylinder is. On like some of your Chevys, it's the other side. I to do this without getting it ran and felt. At 16 degrees, we're top that's better. Factory calls for 14 and idle, 16. Pretty close, and it starts the problem, so we're good there. I also want to see how high the mechanical advance gets when it's revved up. So. but it went to 32. So I've now hooked up vacuum advance again, and we're gonna rev it up a little bit, and you should see it really pink long. Okay. Okay. I think it's really dirty. I think that was around 54. All right, so what your vacuum advance does is it advances the timing during part throttle where it's uh, low load, you got really high vacuum, and it uh, gives you a lot more fuel efficiency and stuff. The uh, mechanical just takes advantage of the RPMs, and generally speaking, 32 to 34 is about the top of your uh, timing that you want. And that should be in somewhere around 3,000, 3,500, generally speaking. Mine may have actually went a little higher if she had revved it up a little more, but it went to at least 32, so I know it's close enough. And it's been running well, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not gonna try advancing it. I was thinking about advancing it just a little bit, but I think I'm going to leave it where it's at because it does look pretty good. If I needed to adjust it, now on this Ford, it's right here on the front. Your Chryslers are generally in the front. Your Chevys, well, not so much. Yeah, way in the back. But they all have this little bracket that bolts in to hold it in place. And what you do to adjust it is you loosen that up so that you can turn it. You don't have to turn it far. 
But if you want to advance, here is the vacuum advance on this one. And when it advances, it's going to pull this direction. In this case, it's, it's uh, counterclockwise. So if I want to advance it a little bit, I need to turn it slightly counterclockwise. And I do, and I mean slightly, don't turn it way out. It's just a little bit at a time. Test it so you don't go too, too far. Now on this Ford, vacuum advance, wait. It looks like it's pulling it the other direction here. So you would actually want, oh, and the bolt, I'm hoping you can see it right down there. Loosen that up. And then this one, you'll turn it slightly clockwise to advance. If, you, if you're wanting to retard it, you'd obviously go the other direction. So then after moving it, make sure you tighten it back up. You don't have to over tighten it. Just get it good and snug so it's not going to move on you. Oh, and by the way, if it's running and you touch the top of the distributor, sometimes you can get a little shock. <laughs> so. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with yours.